With the web API we will build in this video, we will be able to add to-dos, list all the to-dos we stored, and check the to-dos that we have done. A web API is a website that returns data which can be easily read by a computer program. The JSON format is a common choice for input and outputs. Web APIs use the HTTP protocol, but browsers are not really good to work with web APIs. We will use CURL, a small command line utility available on most operating systems that let us build HTTP requests. First of all, we have to choose a web server, and we need to work with JSON from Common Lisp. We will use Awesome CL to choose the libraries. This is a really complete list of the most used Common Lisp libraries, and there are some suggestions on which are the most stable or the most updated one. Anshentut is a really common web server for Lisp, but it doesn't provide a good routing library. This is why we also need easy routes. It will let us provide some REST-like routes. Finally, we need a way to build JSON objects. JSON is a nice library, which strongly believes in correctness and safety, with a good performance. And this is all we need to get started. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite stack for a web API in Common Lisp. Our project will be split in two packages. The first one manages the data, while the second provides the actual web API. We have to decide where to store our to-do list. We should use a real database, but for the moment, since this is just a proof of concept, we can just use a list. This is not good for performance, but uh, the web API package will not deal with data directly, so it will be easy to replace this list with a real database in the future. And this is the reason for using two packages. The first package just exports some function to deal with data. From the web API package, we are not interested on where data is stored. We just use the function provided from the other one. For each to-do, we want to save a description and whether it was done. So, we can use a list of dotted pair. Each pair will contain a string, the description, and a boolean, whether it was done. The global variable to-dos will contain this list of dotted pairs. In the to-do package, we will have three functions, one for each endpoint of the web API. A to-do takes input, a description and a boolean, and just append to the current content of the to-do list a list which contains just a dotted pair. This means that we are adding at the end of the to-do list a single dotted pair which is a new to-do, and then we assign this new list to the to-dos variable. We repeat, this is terrible for performance, but for the moment we want to pay attention to how to build web APIs. We will improve the data storage in the future. When we ask the list of to-dos, we expect our web API to return a list of dictionaries in which, in each dictionary, there must be at least the description and uh, whether it was done. JSON creates JSON dictionary from a table in Lisp, and it creates JSON list from vectors in common Lisp. So, the function to do's to array, so the function to do's to array will have to build this vector of hash tables. And this is exactly what we are doing in the following function. We are looping through the to-dos and for each one we create a new hash table in which we put the current description of the to-do, a boolean that tells us if it was done or not, and an identifier which is just a progressive integer. The collect keyword inside loop will create a list from each of the to-do that we are iterating on. The result is a list of hash tables, but we need a vector, and for this we can use the coerce function to which we pass the symbol vector as second parameter. 
for the done t, I want to be sure that it is just a t or nil, because JSON convert the t to true and nil to false. The last function we need is the one to mark a to do as done. We can simply use a setf. The first argument is what we want to change, that is, the rest of the nth element of the list to do's. And the second argument is the actual value, which is true. We make lisp export all the function, and now we can move to the actual web API package. We move in the other package web API to do, in which we import all symbols from easy root and to do, while for JSON we just shorten its name to a single word. We create and start the web server, we just define the variable before not to lose a reference to the actual instance, so that, for example, we can stop it later. Then we can create a new root using def root. The first one is the most complex one and will let us add new to do. We have to provide a path and it's common for requests that create something to make them as post. Inside the body, we want to call the function from the to-do package. We just need to read the data and pass the right value to the function. JSON provides the function parse and stringify that recall the one from JavaScript. Parse builds a Lisp object from a string. In particular, we read the string from the body of the request. Then we extract the description and the done flag from the dictionary that was built from the request body. We make some checks on the type. The first one should be a string while the other is a boolean. And finally, we can call the add to do function. The result of the request is a JSON dictionary with a single key. Success. It is true if we added successfully the element, while it is false if the type check failed. If the type check fails, when returns nil, and so we put in the key success inside the hash table the value nil, which will become a false. On the other hand, if add to do is successful, then the next expression is t, so when returns t, in both cases, the response dictionary is just one key, which is success, and we call stringify, which converts the hash table to a JSON dictionary. We can now try our API from the command line. We want to build a POST request against this root. We can use curl. The method is POST. We set the content type to JSON. We pass as data a JSON dictionary with two keys, description and done. The URL is localhost. Eight thousand to lose. I haven't compiled the root. Let's try again. And we can see that it was successful. It returned that it worked. Now we can verify it by implementing also a root to retrieve the to-dos. A to-dos was the most difficult, the other are easier. If we want to get the to-dos, we implement a root with the method get, and we just have to stringify the result of to do to array. We had already built this function in a way that we could convert its result. Now let's try it. We add another to do. And then we list all of them. The path is the same, but this time the request is a get. We can improve the result using jq.
Finally, we add a root to mark a to-do as done. If you understood a to-do, this is quite similar. The main difference is that we provide the ID of a to-do in the URL. As usual, we create a response hash table that will be stringify and we call the to-do done function from the to-do package. And we can test this last root from the command line. This again, a get root. For example, I want to mark the to-do with ID zero. Now I list again all the to-dos. We can see that this time the done flag became true also for the ID zero. For today, this is all. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if you liked the video. Leave a like and subscribe.